What is happening, Pokemon community? My name is Levinot, and as always, I have not gotten a better camera because I will probably not get a better camera at any point in time. Although I probably should because I keep on seeing like everyone else's high quality videos and whatnot, and I feel like I'm just a dark, abysmal person that for whatever reason can't get his lighting correctly because he's an idiot. True story. Anyway, um, back to reality. So one of the things getting ready to happen is Generation 8's getting ready to come out, Pokemon Shield and Sword. This is gonna be the, like, a really, really big deal because obviously we, we, you know, anytime we get a new generation out, it's a huge, huge situation for us as far as what we can actually accomplish. One of the big things that, that's always coming up whenever any ge new generation of Pokemon comes out is the question of new typing, right? New typing always becomes a, a serious conversation point because new typing always gives us new opportunities. Now in Pokemon, um, um, Generation 6, which is X and Y, we had, we had the introduction of Fairy type. And this was really the last time that we actually had a new type of Pokemon in, uh, introduced to the, to, the, to the meta. We had, of course, you know, retyping of old Pokemon, while the addition of certain other new Pokemon, such as like uh, the legendary Pokemon Xerneas, and other things of that kind of nature. We finally saw really, really a new opportunity for other Pokemon to shine. It was a very important situation. And, but it also created some real problems in the meta. Uh, for instance, one thing that became, became apparent is that, Poke, uh, that such, such Pokemon such as, such as Excadrill or other Steel types, Steel types in general, became overpowering. And in, in many ways, they still are to this day. If you look at um, such things as like the OU meta, for instance, you're going to have Celestella listed as OU, Excadrill, Ferrothorn. You're going to have Heatran. You're going to have Kartana, Jirachi. You're going to have... Uh, Mega Mawile, Magnezone, Magirna. You're going to have also Mega Scizor. I can go on and on and on. Skarmory. You know, these are all Pokemon that are of the Steel type variety. Steel type is a very, very strong type and has remained such ever since the introduction of Generation 6. Now, Generation 7 made some changes. It released, of course, you know, the, the Z moves, the Z crystals. It released a lot of these new implementations to be able to help break stall tactics in game. Um, it released a lot of these uh, uh, new situations. It released, of course, the Beast Boost Pokemon, all of the Ultra Beasts, things like Blasphelion, um, things like Celestella. But the thing is, is that when they released those, of course, as always, there are some drawbacks of it that are unforeseen, of course, by the game planners, and it can't really be, ex you can't really expect it to be seen, because obviously, until it gets played enough, until things happen enough, you really don't understand what's going on in your overall meta, because at the end of the day, every single small implementation affects the overall play of the game. If I go in right now, if I go in right now, and just take one Pokemon, let's say we take one viable Pokemon and change its base, its base HP stat from like 100 to 65, all of a sudden we turn the entire meta upside down in a lot of ways. Um, I'm just giving a horrible example, but it's kind of what can happen in meta situations because obviously as we make small changes, big changes occur. So one of the things that I'm really, with Generation 7, so we, we really had of course the, the introduction of all the Z moves and whatnot, which was hope when, and the introduction of all the beast boosters as well as the, the tapus, which introduced more terrain, uh, terrain based landscape. As of course, so much of the implementations in the, in the game that were put in were more with the multi battling schemata in mind, as we were try, as they were trying to do more of the doubles and triples battling schematas to be able to affect those, which did make for that. But this course, the traditional format, the single battle format, became really different. And it, at the end of the day, though, because of the introduction of the tapus, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Lele, Tapu Finny, um, you know, Tapu Coco, we really still had ourselves a problem with Steel types. Steel types, of course, being still so powerful in the meta, and so many of them banned to the Uber ladder because of just what happens. It's one of those that becomes a severe issue. We have all of these that just become still sitting there in the Uber meta. Of course, you have your Genesex, you have your Aegislash, which, you know, will always probably stay in the meta, just because, uh, sorry, in the Uber's meta, just because of how it is. It's not very effective in Uber's play. Well, it sort of is, but you know what I'm trying to say. You have Mega Lucario's up there in the Uber's. Mega Metagross, who finally got himself moved to Uber's. The point is, is that the, the moves that they made in Generation 7 really didn't address one of the overarching situations that we had been dealt, dealing with for so, mo so long is that ever since the introduction of fairy type,
the steel types become that much more viable and powerful in your in your meta. It's one of those that if you are not rocking a steel type or at least one steel type in your six man roster in in um, in battle formats, you're probably going to have a hard time. It really is one of those kind of things that becomes ever pre eff effer prevalent, ever pre ever prevalent. That's the word. Oh, not the word. Anyway, you get, you get the point. The idea is, what are we going to do about this steel type issue? Um, steel types obviously are really good against fairies, and of course also pretty good against dragons too, which is a kind of a problem because at the end of the day, you know, those are two very powerful typings. And we really don't have an, 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 a way to address the issue in the way that things are right now. One of the things about new typings, whenever we release a new typing, um, ever since uh, fairy typing, we really didn't have this be a problem, of course, when we released steel typing back in Generation 2, because there really weren't any steel Pokemon already in, involved. I mean, there sort of were, because we did, of course, retype, obviously, uh, Magneton to be a steel electric type. But, with the, really, one thing about uh, new typing releases is that new typing releases, one thing to keep in mind is that they will, obviously, um, retype new po uh, existing Pokemon. Probably the, the one that I like the most is, again, the idea is, is that I'm looking for the the game developers to basically invent a new type rather than, of course, a, a change the way certain Pokemon interact with one another. Um, one of the things that they do have done in the past to address certain things is they made it to where they made it to where, you know, electric types don't get hurt by, by, by uh, don't get, um, electric types can't get, um, you know, um, para paralyzed by yellow magic. Um, you have, um, you have, um, poison types can't get poisoned. You have, uh, you know, fire types can't get burned. These kind of implementations helped, uh, change the, the whole entire scope of the me meta. But now we're kind of looking at ourselves and we're like, okay, what can be done that won't exactly turn everything up on its hinges, but at the same time give us new implementations of battle? What I hope to happen is I hope to see the introduction of a, of a sound type. The reason why I would say sound type versus like other type, potential fake types that are out there, and I say that word very lightly because they are, of course, obviously ideas that could, in, well, at some point in the future be implemented because obviously... The longer we go, the more opportunities can be created. And I really do hope to see that. I really do hope to see a new typing at some point in the future. Only if the new typing that is implemented is a is a tool utilized to effectively not nerf to oblivion, but definitely rebalance steel types in the current meta. So sound types in my in my brain. Um, makes sense to me as that kind of typing simply because of the fact that sound of course if you ever listen to uh, you know ever dealt with, with with metal or whatnot metal and sound you know you can basically vibrate things off of it very easily and whatnot and so I have in my broken mind concepts the idea that sound typing would be a type that we could release and be able to make it um, strong against uh, steel typing strong against rock typing and really just basically make make those two its main typing advantages while a disadvantage would be like water for instance now this might not may be a very good idea off the top of the cusp but really as far as what's out there available right now there needs to be something implemented in generation 8 that effectively does nerf the steel type they tried to, to uh, they did have of course in generation 7 the release of Feramosa. Feramosa, as you guys may or not be uh, remember, was of course the really uber awesome epic wall breaker that had godlike speed and, and was just a serious pain in the biscuit sauce. I mean, if you focus, if you you could literally, as long as you were able to keep it in the back and focus sash it, and then literally drop it down on the ground, um, you know, with uh, without ro getting rock damage, you could basically just have this thing go in there and face break everyone into oblivion. It had the ability to be a physical or special sweeper with a, with a move pool that uh, that really wa was just godlike evil. And honestly, with Feramosa, it was a great wall breaking addition that was basically I could you could tell was implemented and put into the game to help deal with 
the abundance of steel types, but sadly it was just too powerful or deemed too powerful in most formats and thus was banned at Uber Ladder. And that's one of the problems with the, with the way they addressed it in Poke, uh, um, the way Game Freak addressed the issues of steel types in Generation 7. They released certain Pokemon that the community and as a whole deemed too powerful. Um, rather than, of course, you know, doing certain uh, redistributions or re or re weaknessing or re advantaging or rescaling how Pokemon interact with one another, they released a couple wall breakers into the meta that were deemed too powerful by the meta and thus banned um, in so many formats. That's why I really hope for a new type rather than, of course, a new um, wall breaker or so because so often what happens in the community is that when we have a very very effective wall breaker um, it does end up getting banned and that doesn't give us anything at all but what do you guys think below there's obviously other types of people talk about out there things such as physical type or uh, heart type or alien type or you know things like magic type but uh, so many of those just kind of already fit into the, t into the types that we already have out there pretty effectively. And in all honesty, what I really want to see is only something that's released if it's going to help us be able to not so much nerf into oblivion, but definitely rebalance the steel typing format. Thank you guys. As always, if you want, uh, let me know what your comments and thoughts are below. Let me, uh, leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Peace, peace, peace.